Hello, and welcome to WePC. My name's Jack, and today we've got another 12th gen benchmark for you. This time, it's Windows 11 versus Windows 10. There's some very interesting results to be had here, and I'll try and go over my theories at the end of the video. So stick around for that. Before we get into it, can I please ask that you like and subscribe if you found this at all interesting. And again, I'm still sick. Apologies. So first off, we have Control then. Control is an okay game to run, it's not too hard, but can be on lower end hardware. The average FPS we get for Windows 11 is 129 FPS, 1% 1 of 106 and 0.1 of 99. And for Windows 10, 129 average, 1% 1 of 77 and 0.1 of 24. Moving on over to 4K then, as you can see it's a very similar story, the FPS doesn't differ too much. But as you can see, we get 69 FPS in Windows 11, 58 of 1% and 0.1% of 28. For Windows 10, it's 69 average, 1% of 25, 0.1 of 17. Windows 11 coming out on top slightly there. Next up, we have Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is still a notoriously hard game to run, even for the 12th gen 12900K, with 102 FPS average on Windows 11, 1% 1 of 84, 0.1s of 80, and on Windows 10, 81 average, 1% 1 of 31, and 0.1% of 13. And again in 4K, you can see the core utilization being vastly different once again, with the i9-12900K being loaded much more in Windows 11. 69 FPS average, 1% 1 of 58 and 0.1s of 14 for Windows 11, and 41 FPS average, 1% 1 of 9 and 0.1s of 7 for Windows 10. Ouch. Next up then is CSGO, everybody's favourite FPS. The core utilization again is vastly different. FPS average coming out at 355, 1% of 234 and 0.1s of 47 for Windows 11. Averages of 342, 1% of 137 and 0.1s of 38 for Windows 10. And in 4K now, you can see the FPS really start to differ here. There is a decent difference in FPS between the two operating systems. 362 FPS, 148, 1% and 0.1% of 54 for Windows 11. Averages of 306, 1% 1 of 137 and 0.1% of 75 for Windows 10. Days Gone now. Days Gone is a decently intensive single player title that looks absolutely magnificent. With weird core utilization again, we see averages of 143 FPS, 1% 1 of 89 and 0.1% of 67 for Windows 11. Windows 10 sees 150 FPS average, 1% 1 of 83 and 0.1% of 37. And in 4K now, as you can see, we get an FPS average for Windows 11 of 84, 64 1 and 0.1% of 43 and 90 FPS average, 1% of 64 and 0.1% of 47 for Windows 10. How very interesting. Far Cry now, and this is Far Cry 6. There's definitely some massive differences here. Bear in mind the settings are exactly the same. The average FPS is 96, 1% of 46 and 0.1s of 40 for Windows 11, and Windows 10 having 126 FPS average, 1% 1 of 108 and 0.1% of 92. Maybe this is the power efficiency coming into it, but again, we have a vastly different FPS number for both OSs. This is in 4K. The readings are average FPS in Windows 11 of 66, 1% 1 of 41 and 0.1% of 35. Over to Windows 10, we see an average FPS of 89, 1% 1 of 80, and 0.1% of 62. Gas Station Simulator next, a notoriously unoptimized game, especially in Windows 11, as you can see. 125 FPS average, 1% 1 of 81, and 0.1% of 33 for Windows 11. Windows 10 giving us 133 FPS average, 1% 1 of 46, and 0.1% of 20. And in 4K then, the core utilization again being definitely very poorly optimized on Windows 10. The average FPS reading 78, 1% of 56 and 0.1 of 29 for Windows 11. Windows 10 giving us an average FPS of 80, 1% of 59 and 0.1% of 28. New World is vastly different. Core utilization again is really poorly optimized and the FPS numbers do also reflect that. We get an average of 127 FPS, 1% 1 of 66 and 0.1% of 38 for Windows 11. And Windows 10 giving us 132 FPS, 1% 1 of 67, and 0.1s of 39. 
Okay, in 4K, I know that it's slightly more shaded in Windows 11, but upon other testing, this doesn't really reveal an issue on the same OS. 125 FPS average, 1% of 80, 0.1% of 70 for Windows 11, and averages of 79 FPS, 1% of 63, and 0.1% of 43 for Windows 10. Okay, so we're on to Cinebench now the synthetic benchmark and as you can see comparing the operating systems on single core tests garner similar similar results 1949 for windows 11 and 1985 for windows 10 but multi-core tells a very very different story as you can see windows 10 is blisteringly fast windows 11 is still respectably fast but the scores definitely tell a different story the scores on windows 11 reading 25777 and a massive 27299 on Windows 10. That is a massive difference that I definitely didn't expect. Now we're gonna move on to some Blender Render. Rhymed, love it. And as you can see, Windows 10 just slightly nips Windows 11 by a few seconds. The time on Windows 10 being one minute 29 seconds and the time on Windows 11 being one minute and 33 seconds. Now this is my hypothesis as to what's going on here. I think Windows 10 is not very well optimised for the little big technology implemented into the 12900K. I think it doesn't know how to read the cores properly, and it doesn't know how to spread load efficiently. On the contrary, I think that Windows 11 is operating efficiently, Microsoft just needs to tweak it and optimise it, and make it a little bit better for gaming and less focused on power consumption. We do see the cores are vastly different in the utilization states across both operating systems. Windows 10 is very poorly optimized for the little big core technology. I believe that will change, however, in the future. And bear in mind, optimizations for Windows 11 could roll out in the near future upon the i9-12900K's release. Okay guys, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment down below if you can think of anything you want testing to do with the 12900K and I'll definitely try and do that for you. This has been Windows 11 versus Windows 10 benchmarks on the 12900K. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And this has been Jack from WePC and I'll see you in the next one.